Okay, quick ammo and gun guide on the agency. I became a CEO, that's not really part of it all. It doesn't really matter. What matters though is the three new guns that have been brought out. And one of them is a carbon rifle. One of them is the EMP nade launcher that they have sneak peek beforehand. And one of them is the stun gun. Here's their armory. And if you have this armory, you get a 5% discount on everything that you buy right here. It's on body armor, it's on ammo, it's on literally everything. So if you have enough cash, I would recommend buying this armory. So you can get 5% off on all the ammo that you buy. It's a long run investment and it's actually pretty good. With this guy you can buy the stun gun, the EMP nade launcher and the new carbon rifle. So first we're going to do the pistols. And the first one I'm going to review is the stun gun. Stun gun is a fun gun. That's it. You do not really want to use it for combat or anything else. It's a fun gun. This thing is going to set you back for 350k. The range is, as you can see, pretty low. And yeah, not really recommendable. If you want to use it like really effectively. You cannot use this one inside a car. So you have to be outside and then shoot someone. But this is more like PvP or getting someone knocked out. NPCs will die by it. He will get stunned and then die. If you shoot this at a normal person, it's gonna take multiple shots. It takes 12 seconds to recharge, so you cannot stun lock someone on the floor like the modders have. The modders have a, well, modded stun gun that it recharges every 4 seconds or something, so you will always be stun locked on the floor. Easily killable. Second gun I want to go to is the rifle. The rifle is the last one. It's even more expensive than the previous one, the military rifle, but it's average. It's it's like everything else so i recommend just take one rifle and stick with it i have taken the carbine rifle and made it the M mk2 version and i use this thing for literally everything just take one gun modify it to the max use that one if you buy these rifles your wheel is just going to be filled up with rifles and it's not worth it and it's almost like a half a million so if you want to upgrade this one it's definitely going to be 500k and it's going to chew through your money now heavy weapons compact emp launcher this thing sucks it's bad and i do not recommend using it it's like the compact grenade launcher this guy but it shoots instead of an explosive round that the grenade launcher this one does way better but okay it shoots one round and then you have to reload the distance this thing shoots is extremely low what it basically does is you aim it at a vehicle a direct impact and detonates if it hits a vehicle then it will turn off the engine and steering for a couple seconds it's like four seconds but this thing absolutely has no range so you cannot if i'm correct use this in a car so it's not really that worthful and it's gonna set you back about 400k if i'm correct as well i do not recommend buying this one and i'm gonna show you why in a second quick little side note if you buy this agency you can go go here down here and buy body armor that's the best thing they have ever added to an armory buying your own armor inside let me go outside real quick okay here's outside this is as good as a place as any you go to your compact mp launcher shoot it it's a direct impact and the engine is off you can stun lock a car with this but i absolutely do not recommend because it's gonna cost you way too much so flight trajectory this is the furthest what you can shoot and as you can see it's really slow I don't know where it landed like it's not far and it does not explode under a car it's it's the proximity is really bad okay up to the next one for this one we need people as i said with the carbon rifle or the rifle i haven't bought it because i don't think it's needed you just need to stick to one rifle it's cool if you have multiple but it's gonna stick in your weapon wheel and then you need to buy a gun locker gonna take away more of your money so i do not recommend buying the new rifle what you can see here is a demonstration of the stun gun. The person stays in shock for about 5 to 6 seconds. An NPC dies by the, being hit by one of these shocks. You can be decently far away with stun gun, but not farther than actually what you can see here on screen. A little bit farther and you actually won't be able to hit anyone anymore. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that this guide helped you a little bit by buying or not buying one of the new guns that are out. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.